Welcome to an ideal day in life for an artist. Notice how I said ideal day. What this essentially was, I was recording a day in a life and I was recording a lot to the point where I didn't fully complete the task I set out to do. And at the same time, I wanted to give you guys something to watch. What I did was I recorded clips from different days and then incorporated that into one ideal day. And that's what this is. I'll be sharing myself working from home, working on the project with the Pittsburgh International Airport, and also a mural club that I'm currently teaching. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Intro to recording at the moment. Why? No, not that way. Well, you're so zoomed, like. It's just like that because it's the uh, it's in 4K. Twelve forty two thousand work at one. Working from home, it has its perks, right? At the same time, it can be quite convenient and that convenience can turn to a distraction. When I think about work from home, I got the kitchen right there. My workspace is in the living room and I also have the bathroom nearby and the game console and the couch and the TV. It's convenience can be quite a distraction if not balanced properly. And that's, what, that, that's something that I'm currently working on myself. Right here, I'm talking about why I'm using two laptops. My mic was messed up and I'm not sure why. What I do know is when I use my email and I go to send an email, my internet freezes. To solve that problem, I simply use my wife's. What does the I and IRS mean? Internet internal. Yes. Damn, my money attacks emotionally. I get a clutch and if you get too close to me, I'm at the top where I'm supposed to be. Jumping in the gangs against that like they coaching me. Pulling the rats ain't stupid and showed to me. I'm on the road and I bet that you're. Let's read the book. Uh, let's see the, what the book says because I. Babe, I looked high and low for this sucker and he was the last one at Target. Expensive, huh? He wasn't that expensive. But can you yeah. really have the same name? She made them too. I think so. She's a creator of them. I'm so now, so, so now they can see Chippy. He's so excited. He's like this so much. They literally go on Facebook and type an elf on the shelf. People's ideas are so clever. They're so clever. I like what people think so of. Good. I would like to make a video about how I do portraits. How I sketch portraits in a sketchbook. I actually learn a certain technique from another artist and how he sketches them and also techniques I've learned about cross hatching in the past. I use those towards creating portraits in a sketchbook. I want to share those. I believe one of my next videos is going to be me sharing how I do portraits in a sketchbook and how I sketch those. I'm also using a sienna pencil, which I typically don't use. I wanted to use it because I've seen other sketches like this and I like how they turned out. It was fun to use and it gives my sketchbook a different dynamic look. And when I'm starting a sketch of a portrait, I typically start off with the details of the nose. I use the nose as the anchor and then build out from there. Next, I'll do the features, the lips and the eyes. And at the same time, what I was saying before was, I plan on doing a video on how I sketch portraits in a sketchbook. Thank you. 
doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Right here, the kids and I are practicing mixing colors. I have to go pick up some paints from Lowe's. In the meantime, we're practicing a bit of color theory. I see that. Yeah. Oh, it's I don't care. Like In this video, I was going for more of a vlog style. My aim is to make helpful videos and also videos to where you simply just want to hang out. Let me know if you like the vlog style or if you would like to see videos on more specific art tips. Thank you for joining me on this ideal day in the life. If you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Keep creating, stay blessed, and I'll see you next time.